I'm a good reader. I'm a good reader. I am a good reader. Since my daughter's participated in the Everyone a Reader program, her confidence in reading has just grown dramatically. Uh, she's much more motivated to want to read. We have a homework time and a homework place. Uh, we get the homework done and then we take time out for reading. And later on in the evening, we also take another time to read because that's what she wants to do now. The other night, we listened to him read a book out loud at home and he, he used this expression. He doesn't stumble over the words. At first, um, rather than having speaking fluency when he read, he wanted to sound out every syllable. And now he just flows. He, his, he's got it. He reads now. Did you know that you are your child's first teacher? It was you who helped them learn to walk and talk. And it is you working with your teacher who will help them learn to read as well. The Everyone a Reader Volunteer Program has recruited and trained community volunteers to work with children at school to help them with their reading skills. These volunteers are able to give the students the chance to practice their reading. And as they listen, they can help them correct their mistakes. You can do the same thing at home. Encourage your child to practice reading and help them correct their mistakes. These volunteer tutors working with struggling readers at school use some simple strategies or steps to help the readers. They walk you through the book, talking about what the story will be about before the child begins to read. They look at the pictures and predict what will happen next in the story. They introduce new words that might cause the student to stumble when reading. This is the prepare step which sets up the child for success. By pausing before giving the answers, the tutor can give the child time to figure out the word. They might ask the child to look for a picture clue that will help to figure out what the word might be, or have the child look for a part of the big word that they have seen before or are familiar with. These are things the child can do when they're reading by themselves without a teacher, tutor, or a parent to help. Pause helps the child be a more independent reader. Praise is a very powerful teaching tool. It encourages the student to keep trying and get it right. But specific praise is even more powerful because it helps the student to see exactly what he has done right so that he can do that again. Praise builds self-confidence. Another strategy used by the volunteer tutors is to prompt the child when a mistake is made. These prompts are connected to three cueing systems that we all use to help us read. For example, if the child makes a mistake that has to do with meaning, the tutor will ask, does that make sense? Then they help the child find the correct word. If the child's mistake is concerning phonics, the tutor will ask, does the word you read look like what's here in the book? By looking at the beginning sound, they find the correct word together. If the mistake has to do with grammar, the tutor will ask, does that sound right? and then tell the child the correct word. By asking these questions, the tutor doesn't make the student feel badly about making a mistake. The fifth step is to probe or check to see if the child understood what was read. This can be done by asking the child to retell the story. They should be able to tell what happened first, what happened next, and then the ending. The tutors help the child read for meaning by asking them to predict what they think will happen next. The child is eager to read to find out if their prediction was right. Whenever parents come to our school and ask us for suggestions in how they can help their children at home, we tell them to read, to read, and to read so they can become proficient readers. It's critical for parents to be involved in their students' learning. We need that homeschool connection. Students need to know that not only is learning important in the home, in the school, but they also need to know that it's important in the home and that there is a connection. You as a parent may not be a trained everyone a reader tutor. But as your child's first teacher, there are three easy things that you can do at home to support those things being done and said by the teacher and tutor at school. Read to your child. Let your child choose a book they want to have read. Let them explore their interest. A factual book about dinosaurs, bugs, or space travel may get them interested about reading. Give them books as gifts for birthdays or holidays. Visit the public library and get a library card. Make reading a special time together. Set aside a quiet time during your day for reading together. 
Let your child read to you. Show them you are interested in their schoolwork. Give them time to practice. It doesn't have to be perfect. Be aware that your child may be tired and ready to stop. Talk about the story afterwards. Watch educational television programs that might spark an interest to read books about dinosaurs, spiders, animals, other cultures, or countries. Read in front of your child. Show them that you think reading is important. Children want to grow up to be like you, so they will copy your behavior. Reading is a lifetime skill whether you're reading the newspaper, a recipe, instructions for using a tool, a book, or traffic signs. It is a part of your day. Now let's watch this parent show you how easy and fun it is to read with a child at home. Be watching for the steps we talked about earlier. Which of the books do you want to pick? Desert. Desert. That's one of your favorites, huh? And this is a story about what? Is it a story landforms. about animals in the desert? Landforms. About landforms? Okay. And is it a, it's a story about things that you see in the desert, right? Uh -huh. And what is one thing you see in the desert? Grass. No. Grass. Sand, 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 huh? Sand. And do you see rocks? Yeah. Yeah, there are rocks, aren't there? And there's cacti. Cacti? More than one cactus? And flowers? Yeah, and more flowers. Hmm. Mountains? mountains. And more mountains. Water. Is there a lot of water? A little. Only a little bit, huh? Okay, go ahead. You read the desert. 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 <laughs> In the desert, there is sand and more sand. There are rocks and more rocks. There are cat ties and more cat ties. There are flowers and more flowers. There are mountains and more mountains. There is Water, but only a little water. Are you right? Yeah. Try that one again. Only a little bit. Where does it say bit? Yeah, how did you know it was bit? Because only a tiny bit. Well, only a tiny bit, and does it start with B? B. Good. Have, have you ever been to the desert? Uh... No? We've been over one. We've been over the desert? When? Flying to, to, flying to Texas. When we flew to Texas, we saw a lot of the desert, huh? Good. You can see by watching this parent at home how very easy it is to help your child improve their reading. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about what you can do to help your child learn how to read. If your child is being tutored by an Everyone a Reader tutor at his school, we hope you better understand the goals of the program. Remember, you're an important part of your child's reading success. Talk to your child's teacher if you have any concerns about what books are appropriate. Maybe you would like to become a tutor at your child's school. As you might imagine, tutors are always needed so that more struggling readers can be helped. If you would like information about the Everyone a Reader program, you may call 1-800-711-7323. Thank you for wanting to help your child learn to read. Remember that when you read together, it should be fun, a special time to share a book. First grade is all about learning how to read. When I was little, I couldn't wait to be a reader. We've been working hard on, on reading this year. So now when it comes to reading, we're hot stuff. I'm a good reader.
Sí le ha ayudado mucho porque antes el niño no le gustaba leer y ahora sí como que se enfoca más en la lectura, le llama la atención los libros y él mismo me ha dicho que le gusta porque le enseñan cuando son los puntos, cuando tiene que parar y todo eso. Las observaciones que tengo es que al, los niños han mejorado mucho en su lectura, este, les gusta, han estado muy contentos a cada que alguno de, de nosotros, de los tutores vamos a leer. Las estrategias que tenemos en sí para ellos es motivarlos para que aprendan lo que viene en el libro. Primero, que ellos mmm, se fijen, se enfoquen en la, en la lectura, en las ilustraciones, para que ellos mismos se den una idea de lo que se trata la, la, la lectura. ¿Sabía usted que usted es el primer profesor de su niño? ¿Fue usted quien les ayudó a aprender a caminar y a hablar? Y es usted, colaborando con su profesor, quien nos ayudará a aprender a leer también. El programa voluntario Todos Somos Lectores ha reclutado y capacitado voluntarios comunitarios para trabajar con los niños en la escuela para ayudarles con sus destrezas de lectura. Estos voluntarios son capaces de dar a los estudiantes la oportunidad de practicar su lectura. Y como ellos escuchan, ellos les pueden ayudar a corregir sus errores. Usted puede hacer lo mismo en el hogar. Fomente en su niño la práctica de la lectura y ayúdele a corregir sus errores. Estos tutores voluntarios que trabajan con los lectores con dificultades escolares y usan algunos pasos o estrategias simples para ayudar a estos lectores. Ellos le guían a través del libro, hablando de qué se trató la historia antes de que el niño empiece a leer. Ellos miran las imágenes y pronostican lo que sucederá en la historia. Ellos introducen palabras nuevas que pueden ocasionar dificultades al estudiante durante su lectura. Este es el paso de la preparación, que prepara al niño para el éxito. Al pausar antes de dar las respuestas, los tutores le dan tiempo al niño para deducir la palabra. Ellos podrían pedirle al niño que busque una pista de la imagen que ayudará para deducir la palabra o hacer que el niño busque una parte de la palabra grande que ellos han visto antes. Estas son las cosas que el niño puede hacer cuando lee por sí mismo si un profesor, tutor o padre que le ayude. La pausa ayuda al niño a ser un lector más independiente. El halago es una herramienta muy poderosa. Esta motiva al estudiante a perseverar y obtener la respuesta correcta, pero el halago específico es aún más poderoso porque ayuda al estudiante a ver exactamente lo que él ha hecho bien, para que él pueda hacerlo de nuevo. El halago construye confianza propia en el estudiante. Otra estrategia usada por los tutores voluntarios está en indicarle al niño cuando se ha cometido un error. Estas indicaciones se conectan a los sistemas de pistas que todos usamos para ayudarnos a leer. Por ejemplo, si el niño comete un error que tiene que ver con el significado, el tutor pregunta, ¿tiene sentido eso? Ellos después ayudan al niño a encontrar la palabra correcta. Si el error del niño es respecto a la fonética, el tutor preguntará, ¿la palabra que lee se parece a algo que se encuentra en el libro? Al mirar al sonido inicial 